What started as a class project has turned into a passion. Tonight, our Griffin Gonzalez tells us how two Brown County fifth graders are on their path to inventing a better tomorrow. Tucked away through the rolling hills of Brown County lies Spernica Elementary. And inside, you'll find some of the brightest kid inventors in the state. I decided to have all the fifth graders at Spernica um, come up with an invention to solve a real world problem. It was all done in the lab and then they created their posters at home. Meet Karma Harrison and Avery Bobrink. The two 11 year olds got right to work solving an old problem with a new idea. It just made me and other people feel uncomfortable so I figured I would find a way to solve it. I found the problem with agriculture. Karma created a sheet that improves privacy in the gaps of bathroom stalls, while Avery came up with a safety system to help farmers from falling into grain bins. These girls placed top five in the state, and with some financial help from their community, these two were the first Hoosiers to take their idea to the National Invention Convention in Michigan. It's still sinking in that we are the first kids to go to nationals from Indiana. I still can't grasp that I made it there with Avery. Um, we had a lot of fun, but it was also very stressful. The girls didn't win, but being the first Hoosiers to present was an honor in itself. Just to see two girls represent, you know, Brown County, Indiana, we're small, we're a tourist town. I'm thrilled that they did that. Their inventions were so impressive, both have started filing for patents. They hope that their journey serves as an inspiration to other girls looking to invent. For the girls out there and any other kids, uh, don't give up and if you keep going with it, you will do great things. They will get back in the lab soon, but for now, Karma and Avery are focused on their biggest challenge yet, middle school. In Brown County, Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV. And both great ideas there. Well, both families share with WRTV that they are moving forward with the patent process, and they are hopeful their kids' idea will become a real-life product in the years to come.